so we are going to talk about the integration by parts in this video so it's integration by parts in integration by parts the most basic rule which we follow is i lat rule which is i l a t e in integration by parts we are actually integrating two functions which are in multiplication so there's a particular uh, formula from which we have to integrate first we have to assume these two functions as first or second depending upon some rule and after assuming this integral will be first term as it is we integrate the second term minus integral of integral of the differential of the first term integral of the second term and this complete function is again integrated with respect to x so it's it looks quite heinous and difficult when we write it this way but when we will solve the questions this won't this won't be this much of tricky now the question is how we have to find that which function is first and which function is second that's where i let rule comes in so i let first of all defines this is inverse this is log algebra or algebraic trigno and this is exponential so in i l a t e whichever uh, obviously we would be having two functions so those two functions can be any of this uh, list so whichever comes first in those two should be considered as the first term and whichever comes second will obviously be the second term this will be more clear when we'll do a couple of examples so let's start with the first one the first one is we have to integrate x x square x dx so again we have two terms one is algebraic and one is trigonometric so as per our list since algebraic comes above trigonometric so algebraic will be considered first and this will be second so our integral will be first term remains as it is we integrate the second term minus integral of differentiation of first term which is 1 integral of second term and this complete thing is again integrated with respect to x integral of x square x is 10x x square x is 10x while dx remains as it is and integral of 10x is minus of log of cos x and a constant of integral will also come so the answer becomes x tan x plus ln mod of cos x plus c second example sec square i'm sorry sec q theta tan theta d theta I'm sorry this is more of a substitution example rather than integral by parts so the second example is integral of natural log of x now the first problem which we see here is there is no second part but any function can always be written as that function times 1 dx now we have two functions the first function is algebraic why i'm saying this algebraic is this can obviously be written as x raised to the power 0 which is ultimately 1 so this is algebraic this is log and an i l a t e the algebraic i'm sorry the log comes before algebraic so this is my first term and this is my second term so 
so the integral becomes first term as it is we integrate the second term and integral of 1 is x minus integral of differentiation of the first term which will be 1 over x integral of the second term which is x and this complete thing is again integrated so this becomes x ln x minus integral of dx so this becomes x ln x minus x plus <coughs> let's take another example So we have to integrate tan inverse y with respect to y. Once again, there is no second function, so we can obviously take the second function as 1. So this becomes 1 times dy. In ILATE rule, obviously the inverse comes first. It, it is on the top of the list, so that will be the first term. So the first term remains as it is. We integrate the second term, which is y, minus integral of differentiation of the first term which will be 1 over 1 plus y square integration of the second term which is y and this complete thing is again integrated with respect to y so this becomes y tan inverse y minus y over 1 plus y square dy now the challenge is to integrate this so let's integrate it separately uh, if I uh, substitute 1 plus y square as say uh, t, then the value of 2y dy will be dt. So the y dy is equal to dt over 2. So this integral becomes y dy is replaced by dt over 2 and 1 plus y square is t. So when we integrate this, we are getting 1 over 2 and dt over t is ln t. We are not putting any constant of integral right now because after this complete problem ends then we will just place one constant of integral. So uh, let's substitute this over here and then I am getting y tan inverse y minus 1 over 2 ln t and where t is 1 plus y square so this becomes 1 plus y square and the constant of integral is also good. So this should be our final answer. Let's talk about another problem, the last problem. So we have to integrate in this case x square e raised to the power minus x dx. So again in ILTE the e comes last so definitely this will be the first term and this will be the second term. So the integral will be the first term remains as it is. Integration of the second term minus integral of differentiation of the first term which is 2x. Integral of the second term which is e raised to the power minus x dx and this complete thing is again integrated with respect to x. Integra integral of e raised to the power minus x will be minus of e raised to the power minus x. This is minus 2 comes outside. Integral of x remains as it is and again the integral of e raised to the power minus x is minus of e raised to the power minus x and dx remains as it is. So this becomes minus of x square e raised to the power minus x. This minus again comes outside. So plus 2 integral of x e raised to the power minus x dx. Now again, this function can also be integrated with res, uh, using the integral by parts, integration by parts, because it is again a multiplication of two terms. One is algebraic, just like the above one, and one is exponential. So we have to again apply ILATE rule or ILAT rule over here. So let's uh, um, uh, you know name this another integral i1. So i1 will be equal to x e raised to the power minus x dx. This is first, this is second. So this will be equal to the first term remains as it is. We integrate the second term. Minus integral of differentiation of first term, that is x is 1. Integral of second term 
and this complete thing is again integrated with respect to x. So this becomes x and this is minus of e raised to the power minus x. This becomes uh, integral of this is minus of e raised to the power minus x and dx remains as it is. This is minus x e raised to the power minus x plus e raised to the power minus x dx integral. So this is minus x e raised to the power minus x minus of e raised to the power minus x. And as of now, I am not, put, not putting a constant of integral because this is just the i1 and we have to again substitute this i1 over here. So substituting the value of i1 will get minus x square e raised to the minus x. So it is the integral becomes minus x square e raised to the power minus x and it was plus 2 times i1. So when we do plus 2 times i1 and there is a minus sign, so it will get minus 2 times x e raised to the power minus x minus 2 times e raised to the power minus x plus c. So can I take something as common? Yes. Minus e raised to the power minus x came common. So this becomes x square plus 2x plus 2 plus c. So this is the final answer.